Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. If you haven't already, be sure to click that like button in the jaw. Punch the subscribe button on the face and ring that notification bell. Like the match has started. And today, I'm going to give you your SmackDown Live review. Um, a lot happened. Um, honestly, I think this week is gone very well. WWE. Raw reunion was good. SmackDown was good. And you could catch me tomorrow for your NXT review. Be doing that. But, um, yeah, a lot happened. We found out Kevin Owens will be taking on Shane McMahon with Kevin's career on the line. We've got Ember Moon turning heel. Well, kind of. We got Firefly Funhouse. Well, we got Bray Wyatt coming. And addressing Finn Balor, not the fiend, but Bray Wyatt. And it was, I love their his gimmick right now. And we got the challenger for the WWE title at SummerSlam. <laughs> so let's um get started, shall we? Okay. Okay. So Kevin Owens and Shane McMahon. Now. Shane McMahon said on Twitter that Kevin... Okay, Shane McMahon said on SmackDown that on Twitter, Kevin Owens laid out a challenge to Shane McMahon for a match at SummerSlam. But, but the catch is, if Kevin Owens loses, he will quit WWE. And then when KO said... He was going to go attack Shane McMahon. Shane McMahon decided to, you know, um, put him in a match with Roman Reigns for the main event. Okay. Next. Okay. And, um, by the way, we... Okay, so... Af so, then after... Words. We found out that now in the Kevin Owens and Roman Reigns match, we are going to have Elias as the special timekeeper, special guest timekeeper, Drew McIntyre as the special guest referee, and Shane, and as your special guest ring announcer, the best in the world. Shane Mick. Man. Shane, fire Greg Hamilton. I'm better. <laughs> but yeah. Um it's Is that I liked it. It was good. It's still. Okay. Um I'm just gonna jump all over the place right now. Okay, so Kevin Owens in the Roman versus Roman Reigns a no contest because after the match started Roman and KO just started to attack Drew McIntyre then they attacked Elias then Shane McMahon just started to try and run away and then got surrounded and then Drew McIntyre and Elias and Shane McMahon were about to attack Kevin Owens and then they were Shane was about to do a spear to Roman KO would come and throw Shane in the barricade um then we just had Drew McIntyre and Elias get beat up. Roman Reigns would hit a spear. And once again, for the second week in a row, Kevin Owens would hit two stutters. So, yeah. Good. But I think... I Okay, so... It's going to be good. I liked it. I can't wait for SummerSlam. Even though it's... Kind of obvious who will win. Kofi Kingston's challenge for the WWE Champion was to none other than Randy Orton. I predicted it would happen. It did. What do you know? My, um, yeah, now Randy Orton and Kofi Kingston are going to have a rematch from is because because Kofi Kingston showed a video, a video package, 
the Madison Square Garden. And Kofi Kingston did the boom drop through <coughs> through the set <coughs> to Randy Orton. <coughs> Sorry guys. Just Okay, so then we got Kofi Kingston versus Samoa Joe. Kofi won via disqualification. As Randy Orton decided to go inside the ring, tried to hit a RKO on Kofi Kingston, but that triggered the DQ. The, the DQ. Okay. Then Joe, Samoa Joe, made a stupid decision. Turn Randy around, Randy would look and boom, RKO. And then Kofi would come with the trouble in paradise and boom. Now, once again, I'm kind of sick and tired of Samoa Joe being at the bottom. We're talking about a guy who challenged for the WWE Champion a month ago. And he's right back down. See, he's going up because he's going for the title and then boom! That's Samoa Joe right now. It is, it's the facts, people. Whether you like Samoa Joe, whether you don't. I like Samoa Joe. I like him. But, I'm, I can't, I'm not gonna like him if he keeps losing every week. It's just cold, hard, true facts, guys. This, but that was a good match until the end. It was good, but I won't. But it was really good. But I didn't like how Samoa Joe lost. Whether it was this by disqualification or not, don't care. Um, Shinsuke Nakamura defeated Apollo Cruz via pinfall. Um. So this was at the time when New Day. Um, New Day was actually at commentary, which is not normal. Well, it kind of is, but still, they were at, they were normal commentary, commentators for the first hour of the show. It was because we got David Atunga. <laughs> and then, um... But we the reason Byron Saxon and Corey Graves weren't there is because Corey Graves is on a movie set. Byron Saxton's at his father's funeral. So Yeah, but Shinsuke Nakamura took on Apollo Cruz. This was a very good match in my opinion. Now, I'm not gonna stand for Apollo Cruz. Look, Apollo Cruz is good. But I'm not going to cheer for him if he keeps losing. I honestly thought Apollo was going to win this match. It was just Kinshasa and boom, it's over. Okay, let's move on to the next one. Mandy Rose and Sonya Deville now have a shot at a match against the Iconics next week. And if they win, then they get then they get a title shot for the Women's Tag Team Champions. I'd highly take Mandy Rose and Sonya Deville way, way over Iconics. It was good at first, now I'm not a fan. But it was because Billy Kay and Peyton Royce have apparently been acting bad, so Mandy Rose decided <clears throat> that Shane McMahon and she could play. Simple as that. Dolph Ziggler crashed Miz TV and teased a possible SummerSlam feud with Shawn Michaels. It was really good. I like Miz TV. 
Shawn Michaels was the guest, and then Dolph Ziggler came. Shawn, Mi I like Shawn Michaels. This is what I've been waiting to hear from either Dolph or Shane. Or Shawn. Shawn said to Ziggler, you are not, for your whole entire career, you have been nothing but a second tier Shawn Michaels. That is the most true statement. But then Dolph Ziggler super kicked <clears throat> Shawn Michaels. I think at SummerSlam, we're going to get Shawn Michaels versus Dolph Ziggler. That sounds like a great match. I want to see that. <clears throat> Ember Moon defeated Charlotte Flair via pinfall. This was not a good match, I guess. Because it only lasted like 15 seconds. Charlotte Flair was beating Ember Moon. Bailey comes out. Ember rolls Charlotte up. You know, WWE's great way to win matches these days. Roll up. Yeah, that's how Ember Moon beat Charlotte Flair. And then Ember Moon actually attacked Bailey. And then she attacked Charlotte. And then she hit the eclipse on Charlotte. And then she hit the eclipse on Bailey. <coughs> I guess you could call it a heel turn. Anyway. Okay. Bray Wyatt. Um, one Okay, so... You know... Last week on Raw, The Fiend... Um, was... The Fiend attacked Finn Balor. Well, today, Finn Balor actually challenged... Um, The Fiend to a match at SummerSlam. Then, we got Firefly Funhouse coming on the Titan Tron. When we got Bray Wyatt, Ramblin' Rabbit, and Mercy come and say that they are big, super big fans of Finn Balor. Now for The Fiend, not. But Finn Balor, but then Bray Wyatt tells Finn Balor that The Fiend accepts. But the f and though Finn and then he said though Finn is an e extraordinary man the fiend is not a man he's a guy who remembers I, I don't get it but I love how they're doing this gimmick with him okay and that's all I have for you today Anyway, guys, that's all I have for you today. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to hit that like. Kick that like button in the jaw. Punch the subscribe button in the face and ring that notification bell. Like the match started. And you can catch me tomorrow <clears throat> with your NXT review. And then you can catch me on Sunday with your, pay with your live stream. And then you can catch me on Monday for your wrestling nostalgia. And then you can catch me on Tuesday for your Raw review. Then sm you can catch me on Wednesday for the SmackDown review. And you can catch me on Thursday for your NXT review. And Friday and Saturday are all... They're all going to be just off days. Anyway, guys, that's all I have for you today. Um, be sure to kick that like button in the jaw, put the subscribe button in my face, and hit that, ring that notification bell like the match started. You can also follow me on Mixer. It's at www.clarkfan623. Again, that's www.clarkfan623. And I'll see you guys next time. To Zoe. So